my name is Eileen Ryan. I'm here today with my superstar client. She has just landed her dream job and I wanted to bring her here so this way she can tell her story and you can hear directly from her the experience of working with Pounding Pavement 101 and me, Eileen Ryan, Executive Recruiter and Job Search Strategist. Hi, Kirsty. Thank you for being here. Hi, Eileen. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So tell me, how did you come to find out about me first? Um, yeah, so I was referred to you from someone else and um, they had, you know, great things to say about you. And so I, you know, took full trust in them and and dove in with you. I had been um, job searching for a bit of time after a layoff um, and, you know, was just kind of getting beaten down by the process and then um, had that recommendation. So decided to to take them up. Now, have you ever worked with a job search strategist in the past? No, I haven't. I was kind of just doing it all on my own and kind of <laughs> throwing different things out there to see what stuck. And was anything sticking? Uh, this time around, not as much. Yeah, this is this time around, everything has changed so dramatically just in the past year or two uh, that you really have to kind of stay on top of this. So this kind of takes the guesswork out of it. When we started to work together, we started from scratch. Mm -hmm. OK, when you first started and you went through resume development, what was your feeling about this? I mean, because you had a resume but now all of a sudden you learn those super secret ninja tricks based on how the recruiters operate. Yeah, I had been, you know, I had, you know, similar resume and template that I'd been working on, like I said, was throwing out different things to see what worked. So I was kind of happy to start afresh and, and kind of go at it with a new lens. I was, you know, open to anything. Um, and it was great. It really, you know, helped me kind of see the holes in, in my resume, um, which was doing fine, but this, you know, made it way better. Um, and, so, <laughs> and these are now going to be skills you have for the rest of your career. And yes. what's been interesting is because you're going to go into management eventually. I know that I know you're good. You're going to be doing that. Uh, you're going to now as a hiring manager, you're going to know what to look for in resumes. And I think you're going to be quite surprised as to what you receive and what what people are actually doing out there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it gave. Yeah, you're right. It gave me a new lens for for both myself and from from the other perspective and point of view. So after we had the resume development, we worked on the LinkedIn profile. We've then prepared you for interview preparation. Now, I prepare a little bit differently than most people, okay, because I don't do mock interviews. I don't believe in them. And I prepare you based on what are the recruiters actually listening for in your responses. Mm -hmm. Did you see the, a difference in that from what, you know, the generic information you can get on the Internet versus the Pounding Pavement 101 program? Yeah, definitely. And I'll, I'll even go back just to the LinkedIn. Um, I actually just got um a compliment on my LinkedIn the other day from someone who was like, Oh, I was looking at your LinkedIn. It's so robust. It's so great. It really sells you. And I was like, well, that's great. Cause it was not like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and that's incredibly important, not only for job searching, just for your overall career, personal branding in general. Definitely. And I think LinkedIn was something that I always, you know, knew was lacking, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not someone with a big online presence and never know how to kind of promote myself that way. So that piece was, was, um, was amazing as well. So it feels Wonderful. nice. To I'm thrilled to hear that <laughs> Yeah, because that's, again, this isn't, yeah, we got you the job, but that now that you have these skills, you're going to have them for the next job. The company shouldn't hear that. You're going to be there a good long time. I know it's a great company, a great position. How did the interview prep differ? Um, I think, I mean, I had never really done it as mock interviews as well. Like that was kind of how I was prepping 
in terms of, you know, just having answers for things, but I didn't have the questions and I didn't know what they were going to ask. And so I think that was really amazing to have from you, just knowing what questions to kind of prepare for. Um, I just had, you know, scripts of things and um, also making it more succinct. Um, You know, I kind of had longer scripts and, you know, was maybe rambling on too long about certain things. And so you were really great at helping me like succinct my answers um, and making them, you know, straight to the point. Um, So that was really great. Did you feel fully prepared walking into those interviews and confident? Yes, definitely. Definitely. And the more you did, I'm sure the better you got as, as you went on. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, starting, you know, having to read through all my answers beforehand, um, you know, getting to a point where I, you know, barely had to do that by the end just was, you know, really confident in, in my answers and, and what I wanted to say and what I wanted to portray and kind of based off my research on the company could also, you know, more easily kind of tailor, tailor my answers. Well, yeah, and I gave, gave you a list of questions to research about the company. So at least you had targeted research to do versus what everyone else does. They just go and read the website and figure, oh, now I know about the company. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure that that's what you were doing before this. And you're like, huh, Eileen gave me a checklist. Let's follow the checklist because it does work. So then we moved on to, we now we had you fully prepared. A resume was in hand, the LinkedIn profile was in hand, you're ready, you're, so those are your marketing materials. But now I gave you a strategic plan to attack the job market and to find yes. those hidden jobs and to streamline production. That's huge because mm-hmm. this does take a lot of time to find all these jobs. Did those strategies help you? Yeah, it. you're right. Like finding the jobs, this was a new approach for me. I was, you know, really kind of going all in on, on, you know, very select um, opportunities and which was great. You could still do that. Um, but, you know, kind of going for uh, applying for more and kind of finding those approaches, you could still, you could still pinpoint the ones that you knew you really wanted within the other ones, but it was, it was nice. It was really nice to kind of have conversations with, you know, places you didn't necessarily, you know, weren't those kind of top, top um, places on your list, but having great conversations with people from there and, you know, being delighted or, or the opposite, um, could happen, you know, maybe it was somewhere top on your list and having conversations and realizing maybe that it, it isn't the top place on your list. Um, so yes. Now you are looking really for a needle in a haystack type job. Okay. Mm -hmm. A very specific job. Plus also we had a visa issue Mm -hmm. involved and even with all of that, and I think there was a vacation in between, (laughs) <laughs> and the, and and uh, some holidays. Uh, I'm looking at the statistics for this, and, and this is just kind of funny. I really did, I did the math. 101 days <laughs> from start to finish when we launched your job search, and this was again with the needle in the haystack and mm-hmm. also the visa issue. And you still land your dream job. And wait, I've got to tell everyone this: you didn't get one offer. You didn't get two offers. You got three job offers and they all came in at once. (laughs) Yes, that was, um, yeah, that was kind of a hero moment. And that felt very nice, you know, (laughs) coming from, you know, some time, um, you know, looking for a while. Um, So, yeah, that was great. The the three offers was... um, was very nice <laughs> and nice, <laughs> that I got to, nice that I got a choice I guess you know didn't have to take the first offer could kind of look at them all all objectively and really understand what I what I wanted well and that's the beauty of this program and, and I told you this at the beginning that we get the job search working on all cylinders so this way you have a massive amount of calls coming in And you're then in the driver's seat and you get to pick and choose which job you want. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to ask you, when we started, 
Did you believe that? No. Did you believe that that was going to happen? No. <laughs> so it was and, just blind trust. <laughs> yeah. And even a few weeks before, I don't think, you know, <laughs> I don't think I realized that there would be three on the table all at once. This happens to a lot of my clients, okay, that they start and they come to me and, and they're beaten down by this process and they don't always, they lose confidence in themselves and will this really work? And then when all of a sudden we do the wall of success video, they're like, huh, it happened just like she said. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened to you. So we were able to, I was able to guide you through step by step how to navigate that end process. And that's what's really important. That's where a resume writer, you know, took a course one weekend and now all of a sudden they're certified. There's no such thing as certification. Okay. But to understand the full recruitment process mm -hmm. and that's where that end benefit definitely comes in for you. Yeah, definitely. So I'm so excited for your new job. Would you like to tell everyone where you're going to be working, what you're going to be doing? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll be doing um, more project management, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's mostly for residential construction, um, you know, high-end residential construction, but some commercial work as well. So do you have any advice for job seekers out there or someone who is currently employed and looking for their next opportunity? What advice do you have for them as they're job searching? Yeah, I think one thing that I really appreciated, especially doing the one on one with you, was having kind of an accountability partner as well, like all of the content that that you did was amazing and going through, you know, all the phases to get all of my work up to date um, was amazing. But also having you kind of keeping me and holding me accountable as well, you know, when you're going through this process. Um, you know, it's draining and it's tiring. And so um, having a having someone kind of helping you and keeping you accountable is is great and and no shame in it either. No, it is a frustrating and lonely process. And yeah. what happens is a lot of people after just going a week and not getting calls, they give up. Yeah. And then they also give up on the dream job. And I don't want you to get mm -hmm. just any job. I want you to get the dream job because it's building blocks for your career. Because I'm worried about today's job. And then what's the career path that it's going to head you down? Because again, this is building blocks. So you are in a great career trajectory now. I don't want to hear from you for a couple of years because you landed a great job. You're going to do great there. Thank you so much for doing this. Congratulations on your new job. Thanks, and Eddie. please keep in touch with me. And thank okay. you for everything. Um, I really appreciate all of your time and efforts and um, and everything that you did to help me. You are very, very welcome. It's truly my pleasure to launch so many careers. My name is Eileen Ryan from Pounding Pavement 101.